Hello everybody. So today I'm going to make pancit. This is a Filipino noodles that includes uh, glass noodles. This is glass noodles. You can go ahead and use any noodles of your type. And then number two is, uh, this is French beans. They're still frozen. They look frozen. And then I'm going to use some of the veggies there. This is chopped carrots and and the white ones are broccoli and some peas and some little french beans. I have my cabbage here. Of course, I'm going to cut a piece of it. And I decided to use tuna because I don't eat some stuff. But I decided to use tuna. You can use tuna. You can use chicken. You can use anything that you love. And then I'm going to need some coriander. I have some carrots. I think the carrots I wanted to grate, but I don't know if I will use them, but I'm still checking how things are going to look. And then, of course, I have my spice. This is curry and turmeric. And I have my garlic there and onion. I have this, like, salt. This is, like, my salt because I don't use soy. I don't eat soya, the black one that is so salty and garnishing with my lime i don't know what else is missing and i'm going to eat i'm gonna use some oil of course my olive oil and let's get started just right now so i have my pan ready and now i'm gonna put my onions i am waiting for this water to dry up a little bit and then i put my oil i put onions and then i go ahead put my garlic and then next i'm just going to use my tuna so guys this is just my own version there are a lot of recipes somebody can follow and i just thought to try since i have never tried this uh this pancit the filipino uh food i always eat it when i go to parties and i was just curious how to do it so this is how i just do it and don't judge don't judge i know there are so many ways somebody can prepare pancit but it just depends how much time I have. You know, pancit needs time. And at the moment, we just want to test a little bit before dinner. This is just something that I thought that I want to test before dinner. I'm just boiling my green grams, as you can see them. I'm cooking them with some rice and some chapati. Yeah, so I'm just having my pancit here. And it looks as if the olive oil was quite much. And then I will just go ahead and wait a little bit for them to turn quite brownish. And then after that, I add my tuna. Then after I add my tuna, I don't want to fry separately, like frying vegetables separately. I think I'll just mix everything together. And then the last thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my noodles after taking my noodles, I just mix them almost the last thing because I had already soaked them in water for like 10 minutes. Yeah, they are already soaked. As you see them, they are already soaked. 10 minutes time and then, so I wait a little bit. And then at the moment, I'm just going to peel some little cabbage. Yeah, I think I'm going to, because I like them to be crunchy, somehow crunchy. So I'm just going to chop some little cabbage and then and then I continue with the rice because I don't normally cook with this water or whatever oil it is. So I'm going to pour it here. Okay, so that's how the tuna looks like. And I'm going to just Reduce the fire because I'm gonna put it to number two. So I'm gonna leave it here to cook a little bit as I cut my cabbage, and I will be adding my curcuma. I'll be adding my turmeric ready, just a little bit. Just ready. And then I'm gonna add the curry because it's a little bit chilly. 
because the girl was complaining so I think I'm gonna put some little garlic uh, some little curry so I'm gonna leave it to dry a little bit so I'm gonna leave then I'm gonna add some salt this salt that I'm adding here uh, is going to cover it's gonna cover for vegetables and for vegetables and the noodles but I'm gonna taste before I add more salt so as I said before this is just my own version of cooking there are billions of videos somebody can watch on YouTube so that's why I say this is just my own version how I'm cooking mixing everything together this is my own pancit. I'm from East Africa and this is my own way of preparing my pancit. I'm gonna leave it a little bit, uh, as you see, it's, they're quite big. So I'm just adding my cabbage and they're quite big and I love them like this. That's so good then. So that's how my beans look like. I don't put uh, tomato this time. We just want to try them like that and my rice is ready that's our dinner because my girl said that he's gonna eat pancit for dinner so i just placed some red paprika this was this one was not part of cooking but i am just showing you guys for example this is paprika yeah this is paprika they have very good taste and I thought to make it like that since the beans are quite yellow and then I put some just in case you want to we want another way of cooking your meal and yeah and it's, this one is from Indonesia yeah it's from Indonesia so it looks dry and then next I think I'm next I'm gonna add my green beans in case you cook it separately, it's gonna take a little bit time. That's what I'm trying to avoid. So that's why I'm putting everything to cook together because I'm multitasking. At the same time, I'm cooking my dinner. At the same time, I'm cooking the pancit here because pancit is just, uh, yeah, it's just for eating for fun, let's say. But of course it can be for dinner. It depends how much somebody's full. The beans that I'm adding are these, and I think I'm not gonna add them all of it, just a little bit. That's enough. Otherwise, it's gonna be too much. Then this one will be almost my last thing to add, and then I'm gonna put also my vegetables later. Not now, but later. So guys, as you see here, this one, I'm just going to cut it because they are too long. They can't be eaten like this. So I'm going to, I'm going to shred them just a little bit. Maybe that's enough, yeah. So guys, that's how it looks and I'm going to turn it on. I thought to put my rice noodles first because the vegetables... This one can come last because they cook very fast. So these one are the last ones. And then I'm just going to turn my pan seat because my girl is waiting to eat. Are you waiting, Julia? Yeah. Are you hungry? Yeah. yeah. So my girl is really waiting to test this pan seat. And let's say, let's see how it's going to turn. Then now I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna add my vegetables now. I think not too much. I think this is enough. I did not shred my carrots or grate my carrots. I just thought this one is enough since it's also colorful. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and see you in our next vlog. Bye. Bye. So we are just going to continue. We are just going to continue cooking here. Can you remove your hand? So 
you're gonna leave it for some time and then after that I remove it but this is how I'm fit thank you for coming along with so the coriander is just to be washed and then to be garnished on top of the pan seat so guys i've already garnished this with a coriander and next i'm just gonna drop some some lime <laughs> 